Hey guys, and welcome back to one of our, well, welcome back to Dust and Legion Tale, one of our sponsored one hour videos. This one, weirdly enough, is a part two, because Jesse Miller, the first person to ever donate enough for this rank, in fact, he, I made this rank for him because he donated so much for the Patreon that I'm like, I feel like you should have some sort of like reward tier, and I just made up this thing of like, uh, you can ask for one hour video of a thing as a, as a reward tier for that, and then two other people joined in afterwards, but... It's month two of him supporting again, so thank you very much, Jesse Miller. And he asked for dust again. So I think we're going to be playing a lot of dust. One month at a time. A word of advice. What is this thing? Some kind of cage? Whatever it is, it's making an awful, awful racket. Once in a while, I hear words that sound like fat and beats. What does they even mean? I'll hide it in the caves beneath the Aurora, beneath, beneath Aurora until I found the keys I need. I just need to remember to jump as far to the right as I can. So some t somewhere somewhere in a cave beneath Aurora, jump as far right as I can. Obviously not here, because nothing to the right. So if I jump really far, I'll get some kind of thing. One challenge of doing this on a monthly basis is gonna be figuring out what all the buttons do. Let's see, all right, magic is that button? Yeah, that's dodged. There we go, that was the one thing I was missing, so. That's how you cast magic and make it explode all over the screen. Hey, hello, shop. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. I completely forgot this game had voice acting. It's actually really refreshing because I've been playing... Oh, God. Whoa. Ah. You navigate the tabs with the bumpers, and I cannot express enough that it is really... Like, off-puttingly sensitive. Oh god. No. I'm not mashing the button, that's really what happens. That's super weird. I wonder why that's a thing in this game. I might have even noticed it last month and commented on then, so that's kind of... I'm probably making a fool of myself right now. Uh... I have gear worth... The D-pad works better for this menu, at least. One defense, two defense, four defense, one luck. That's what I have already, though, so, so I'm done. I currently have one, one defense, two luck. This one has two luck, that one has... Ooh, all the nice stats. Thank you. Just grab one of those real quick. There's also keys, but they're a billion dollars. I'll avoid. Honor us with your patronage. Please tell your friends. You're rich ones. I don't, I don't have friends. I only have loneliness and a lack of memory. So you're SOL as it turns out. Ooh, do I have two smooth rings? Did I? I have two smooth rings. That's even better than having one smooth ring. So I get two attack, eight defense, and, and four luck. I would not be at all surprised if I bought a smooth ring last episode for the exact reason that I just saw, and then now have two. There's a hole over here in the, in the map. It seems like the type of thing that I may have not explored. For some reason, it feels really natural to hit a bumper to jump around, and that's not how you do it. Can I go down? This is the alternate cave over here, right? There we go. It's just... Oh, it's just a chest. Okay. I've made a horrible mistake. I sh Duh. Come back to a game after a month. You should check what the fucking quests are. Alright. Main quest. You've proven yourself the hero of the t townspeople of Aurora. Perhaps now you can get some answers from the townsfolk. So just talk to townsfolk. And a new venture. A mysterious merchant has asked you to find various... Yeah, that's just the guy that wants me to do crafting stuff. I think this is actually a guy that I walked past without talking to. You! You're perfect! Um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't! My box has been lost! Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box. Return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. I gotta get a mysterious box, and don't open it, whatever you do. What, can I select it as my active quest? Nope. 
Just gotta keep track of that stuff. You met an odd fellow named Reed. He seems to be looking for a box of some sort. The one, the way he said that stuff, he was all like, Have you, Can you hear my box? Can you hear it talking? No, of course you can't, because it's not here. It almost sounds like a yes and routine of like someone just improvising in response to whatever I say. So my uh, fidgets noticing treasure nearby. And hiccups! Um. Did I get a note? It said I got a note. Mm, reads box. Oh god, hiccups, why? Box, that's what it is. It's a box. You can't open it. Don't look in the box. Do not open the box. You cannot, you can look at the box, but that's it. And it only, and only if it helps you bring it back. Uh, it fell into a hole near the storage cave in Aurora. I did no doubt found by whatever lives in the darkness below. The cave in Aurora. So is it going to be down here then? So this is where the save point was, and I'm pretty sure it's just a dead end. So, so this would not be where the save... Yeah, that's not where we're going to find the box in particular. I love the midair spin in this game. Woo! Alright. Can I go up? Nope. Hey, buddy. Guess we're just going to collect quests for a little bit. Good day! I'm Mayor Bran. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. Well, she can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'd be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dust? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. Problem. So the monsters are organized. Also, the guy had a really fun line of dialogue. <laughs> Dust said, And there was this girl. 
and he was like, oh yes, that could only be what's her name. And like that's that's all that's all he said. It's like literally all he had to go on was that there was a girl. It's like is really that's the only girl in the entire camp? That's kind of concerning. Hey, you're the outsider. Yeah, that's me. That's great. So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. And all you've got to do is murder the faces off of five imps. No big deal. All right, so we have uh, not a whole lot new. Basically, just that one about the imp hides. And we like we gain a level. Yay! So my, my I think I remember that this. I think that there's framing here around these piece, these things here, because uh, I think you're not supposed to let your points go too far ahead of each other or something. I feel like you can only go three above your highest one or something, or your lowest one. For I don't know, maybe the maybe the cap rate increases over time. Anyway, hit points I can increase them dramatically. I can also increase attack dramatically and defense dramatically and fidget dramatically. Well, that's one to fifteen. That seems worthwhile. But yeah, whatever you do, uh, yeah, I think I don't think it's based on your your minimums. I think the the maximum just increases uh, as you put points in to make sure you do that. You don't focus exclusively on one stat. But early on, I'll probably be putting a point into each, kind of evenly, just because the jump for each of them individually is so dramatic. It's like, hey, you want to take the stat and multiply it by two point five? Why, boy, do I? Or in that case, multiply it by fifteen. Yeah, suffice to say, you start off with like zero stats. So, the Glade, 87%, 65%, 37%, 25%, 0 So basically they're saying I can go back to the Glade where I already was. Let's try the new place. So yeah, basically this game has the whole, uh... What am, what am I trying to say? It's just like a specific Castlevania, because it already has the Castlevania style of like going around the 2D environment and expanding a map like Shadow Complex and stuff like that. But it has the very specific similarity to Castlevania, the one where you're playing as a girl with nostalgia. Actually, just saying it on the 3DS, it's on the, it's on the DS and you play as a girl. That pretty much already narrows it down to one specific game. That I don't remember the name of right now, but that's it's basically a lot like that game in that you're you're traveling to a bunch of different locations on the map. Hear something flapping. What? Uh, that isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company. How, how do you feel about point combos? Ruined. Oh, wow, you broke my chain. Whoa. At least I counterattack successfully. Oh man. Gotta get right back to the, com the uh, combat system in this game. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong. I mixed up what buttons did I and mean, what the meters were. I was like, wow, how, when am I gonna get my mana back? And I just I just realized that was my experience. <laughs> I was waiting for I was waiting for my experience to go back up, because it's the blue meter. But uh the fidget meter is totally going up all the time. No big deal. Which is what I used to do this. Yeah, I was looking at the blue one. I'm like, that's why is it going so slowly? But this, it's like that game in that that specific Castlevania has a system where you still do the whole Metroidvania system, as people call it. Bye, guys. You still do the Metroidvania system where you navigate a big 2D environment and, and ex explore the map and unlock various things that let you expand over time. I completely squandered that magic. <laughs> Pressed the wrong button. Uh, but it also has the thing where you go to a bunch of spots on a map over and over again. So it's like it's it's a it's like a it's like a it's like a series of hubs basically. Whoopsie. Went back between the two spots. So it's so it's a it's a hybrid basically. So it's like a it's a midpoint between the Castlevania system and the Bastion system of teleporting around. 
And no, I'm not naming any of these things to specifically claim that they're the first ones to do any of them. People always make that mistake. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Come back here. <laughs> you think you can escape me by flying? I was born in the sky, molded by it, for about 30 seconds and then I fell to my doom. But I bounced, because I was a baby and they're very, they're very squishy, and they have bouncy bones. Ow. I should look into healing, there we go. <laughs> Buddy, I can follow you all the way up here. <laughs> I don't need gravity. I've got a bullshit wind sword. That's right. That's how we do it, apparently. I don't know who we is. Oh, actually, I do know who we is, because I have uh, Fidget here with me. I'm really getting nailed a lot. Oops, I healed on accident instead of dodging. That's going to be a thing that happens. It's, I'll flexibly press the bumpers to dodge, and it'll actually, but it's actually the trickers. Hey, buddy. Come back here. Oh, thought I was gonna hit you first. There we go. Any more supplies around here you guys dropping for me? Alright. I'm mostly just gonna explore and see what, what, what quests I complete naturally. So that's kind of what ha what can ha happen in this game is you just kind of look around the area. And as you navigate, you end up finding imp hides and hidden boxes. I am here to serve. Ah, uh, you want special materials, right? Yeah. Oh wait, these are to buy. Cell mode, there we go. You want like one of each, right? He said, I think he said it'll give me a specific bonus each time I sell him something for the first time. Oh no, he sells me, he gives me just as much each time. But he definitely wants me to try to complete a catalog. It's good because every time I sell him something, it becomes in stock, which enables it to be something that I can buy from him. So now I've sold him one copy of everything. Bam, now when I go to buy mode, all of these are available. Your transaction is most appreciated. The materials you've sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I also share my stock with other merchants. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. So basically, it's kind of like planting a tree, p planting seeds in the ground, and getting come back, coming back to the tree later because he's gonna give, he's gonna grow the supply of these things over time. The difference is that the, instead of a tree, it's like imp wings and stuff like that, which I'm not sure how he's getting more of. If he was able, capable of getting them in the first place on his own, then he probably wouldn't need my help. In the sky with me. Yeah. How you guys feeling about combo counts? <laughs> this guy's got a really satisfying series of combos. It's especially satisfying when I completely miss. <laughs> Money. I like that you can troll your weapon to make the even make a random bits of currency just fly at you because. Which makes no sense, but I love it. He's dead. Oh, they're all dead. Cool. My favorite part is the part where they die. I got a key. I got this. I just... <laughs> That's that little song you play. Ooh, 12 healing items. Cool. And it's windy here, apparently. I can't... Can I go down that ladder? I don't think I can. Hey, buddy. You just want to pay a visit for me real quick? Cool, thanks for the stuff. Let's go back upstairs since I've collected the chest and destroyed an entire camp of people that weren't doing anything to me, but I'm just that kind of monster. I'm looking forward to getting other magic types because I, I remember fire being my favorite for some period of time. But we don't got we don't have any, uh, any types of magic right now. We're just the one default fidget element, which I don't even know what element it is. It's white, light, bright, Magic color. It looks a lot like the ma arcane missiles from a uh, from World of Willowcraft. Down. Excuse me, sir. We have to. This is a no-fly zone. You're gonna have to land. It's adorable. <laughs> gonna have to power up my magic because it is not as effective as I remember being. 
probably because I'm level 2 or whatever. Ow! Whoa. Really messed that up. Hey, buddy, come back. <laughs> I caught him with my foot. And then he caught the ground with his face. Hey, buddy. Down you go. Yay. My favorite part was the horrible blinding pain. Oh, the little cashews are not as valuable. There's a, there's a key over there. Gotta figure out how to get over there. Hey, look, a bomb. Whoopsie. <laughs> My favorite part is the horrible exploding fruit that looks like it's from Rayman. I've caught a few different things my favorite part now, so it doesn't really make sense anymore. Ow. Rude. There's definitely a lot of guys on screen here. Let's just spam some magic a little bit to try to clear them out. Because damn. Also a few explodey fruit. I won't, I won't mind. There's a lot of guys around here. Explodey fruit, save me! Yay. Explodey fruit, exploding fruit is best fruit, unless you like food and eating. Then it's less good. Unless, you've, unless you already have like a heavy pepper diet and just can, and you can just take that shit like no big deal. Ooh, uh, gotta get them important materials. Oh, it's flying away on me. There we go. Explodey fruit, come down here, save me. You did it. Yeah. That's called a combo. A terrorism combo. That guy's just gonna hang out and take some damage off screen while I collect money. There we go. How nice of you to wait for me to come back to die. So I could witness it. So I don't really have the ability to go under a thing yet. No, no morph ball technique here yet. Gotta get, I gotta unlock the ability to lay down and crawl. It requires special training. It's like that Baby Geniuses movie. It's something... It's just things that you only know when you're a baby, and you forget it when you become an adult. Hey, giant, how you doing? I am not gonna hang out in your melee range at all. You're dangerous. It's all about them combos. Them sweet combos. I gotta kick out of that, the fact that you can't even read the combo meter right now. It's just numbers. Combo! Good. There we go. Definitely do more damage with melee attacks, but it's just more effective for not getting hit to spam magic for a bit. Who's all over here? More danger! I'm really high up. <laughs> you definitely don't start out underpowered in this game, except for that part where I said you start out under underpowered in this game. Your stats are underpowered in this game. Your character is capable as fuck. Up in the sky with you, and back down. I call that the Dante. Actually, more of a Nero, I guess. Finally, we're out of those caverns. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? Ha! I laugh at the dark. Actually, I'm afraid of heights. Wait, heights? How is that possible? You fly all the time, everywhere. Oh, do I? I must have forgotten. Just like you must have forgotten that I can still fall at any time. Never looked at it that way. You're an interesting one, Fidget. You could always get like a chair, a wheelchair or something, so you don't have to fly or walk. And there'd be like a morbidly obese little Fidget walking around because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's just full of so much magic. Yes, that's what it is, says the loving grandmother that doesn't want to explain that they're that, that who's fat. Oh god, where'd my hit points go? I didn't. Something hit me, and I did not notice it hit me. It's probably that guy. I think I remember them being a problem before the weird spike monsters. Oh shit! That's what happened. All right, well, let's watch out for that. I just wasted something valuable. Wow. Forgot about those little nasties. Let's just stay away from that guy and focus on fighting everyone else for a bit. Ooh, hello, black materials. Huh. Get away from it. Those things are really... That was savage. Do I even have another revive stone? I probably don't. I probably used up my only one. Dual wet stone. 
Six attack? No, ten attack and 1.1 times fidget. That sounds great. Sweet. Materials. Hey, do I have any more? Was that my only revive stone? I don't actually see where it is. A simple pendant blueprint. Two attack, four defense, one luck. So better stats overall, just need to actually get it. On we go. Oh god, it's one of these guys again. Are these like anti-air? Ow, shit, they do that too? Wow, that thing's, those, those things are brutal. I don't like you. Go away. Go away. Go away. Ugh. Man, they hurt. That's a big deal. Yeah, I don't know where to check my revive stones necessarily. Let's just try not to die. Problem solved. There we go. Oh god, it's underground. It's its natural habitat. Ow, jeez. Those things are brutal. I'm out of here. Screw you guys. Hey, shop. How you doing? I don't really think, feel like I need to visit you already again. Can't climb these. Something I'm gonna have to get over time. Ooh, a save point. Now I'm less afraid of the spiky things. At least I don't lose us any progress. Hey, guys. Don't mind me just savaging you out of existence. How do you feel about genocide? <laughs> Yeah. Oh! Oh, I leveled. Cool. Sweet. Uh, a lot of health. Not a bad idea, because I'm taking hits. Significant increase in damage, defense, and wow, double the fidget still. This is, this is a big deal. Potency of projectiles and the dust storm. Kind of want to make fidget more powerful. It's obviously my go-to ability. Bam! It just jumped from 3 damage to 7 damage per little ball. Oops! Accidentally healed instead of dodging again. That's just what I gotta do, is I gotta rely on my dodges properly to, to wail on these guys. And jump out of their nasty little attacks. Hey buddy! Up here we go. Yeah! How are you guys feeling about horrible, horrible magic all over the place causing you problems? Hey, why are you guys everywhere all the, way, all the, all the time? Don't want, don't want to make you feel bad, but I like this. Ow! Jesus! Your, your freaking overhead strike is comically fast. Teach, teach me to never, ever, ever go above you. They, they didn't dodges, too. God damn. These things are brutal. They do some serious damage. Alright. I'm running out of cashews. Do you, have, do you have any idea how hard I worked for those cashews? I had to go up to a chest and press four buttons. That's serious business, man. More magic. How do you guys feel about damage, seven damage at a time? <laughs> wow, they're really dodgy all of a sudden. Alright, still cleared them out, no big deal. Man, those, those weird nightmare creatures are a problem. Death to you all. Death to you all. Death to you all. There we go. Things are going A-OK. -okay. Try to fill up that experience meter and get even more comical strength on my magic. Seems to be an effective strategy. Probably not great for bosses. Probably have to fight bosses mostly with your melee. Wow, what is that? I don't know, cover it and stuff until it stops moving. There we go. Some sort of lightning creature to avoid. He's in there somewhere. Wow, you can actually watch his health bar going down. That magic's actually significantly stronger now. Come down with me, yay! Just cover him with stuff. There we go. It's pretty funny watching just a, bl a weird mass of spots just consume someone alive. <laughs> like that freaking, what's it called? All right, well, that's, that's a wasted sentence. That thing, that thing I can't remember the name of. Good, good job. Oh, Langoliers, Stephen King. There we go. I think that's the right reference. Hey, buddy. Up in sky with you. If I remember correctly, the Langoliers are a weird Stephen King story about how every night you go to sleep, 
and the Langoliers consume the entire planet, and the entire planet's reborn again. Oh, wait, was there a clip up there? Oh, you guys are back. Did the time of day just change in this game? <laughs> probably just, I probably just noticed a lighting change between the two rooms. Did I see a cliff over here? I didn't. I imagined the whole thing. Wow, I came back here for no reason. Whoops. Whoopsie. Oh well, experience is good. Yeah, but yeah, I think Langoliers are like a weird, almost Pac-Man style monster creature. At least that's how it was presented in what I think the movie was, if I can remember correctly. Uh, they just, they consume the entire planet every night, and the new pl the plants are reborn again every day. Uh, it's just a weird... I think that Stephen King was in like a weird, like, children's story phase, because obviously that story has no legit, makes no logistical sense to anyone who has lived on the planet for a few years, but... <laughs> Uh, it might be good for people who believe in Santa Claus. That age group. Oh, I got a treasure key. Sweet. This is back down where I was. Whoa! Speed boost. There must have been like a wind current or something. How do you guys, how do you guys feel about exploding? I'm quite partial to it myself. Hey, explodey friend. There's a lot of jellyfish in this level, that I apparently skipped past half of it by going up here. That guy just ran directly into the explosion. Good for him, I guess. It's a closed-off cave over here. Ooh, hello, money that I didn't know was down there. Any more are gonna come up here? The spinning attacks really are like the catch-all that solves all problems in this game. Also, fun firework attack, so that's cool. I did a successful counterattack on accident. If there's anyone else that left in this room, they're dead now. Let's see. I may have skipped half the level. I don't... I might want to go back and explore. Oh, God. Hey, buddy. Let's look at the map real quick. Because these spots mean something. Legend. Save points. Um, Treasure is a circle. Right. That's where we found the treasure chest we couldn't open. There's supposed to be a treasure chest here. Um... If it's a dot, we already have everything in it, apparently. It doesn't actually say what green is. I believe green is just... I actually don't know what the green is. It's weird that it's not on the legend at all. Oh well. Who's a little... Who's a big giant that I'm going to cover in nasty spikes? Oh! Walked right into that. That was my bad. That's why I keep my distance. Come on, concentrating a little bit. <laughs> you always know I'm quiet. I'm concentrating when I'm really quiet. There we go. Could, wouldn't mind some hit points. All right, just eat all of my cashews. Hey guys, down with you. <laughs> Fatalist fidgets all like, no escape. We're all gonna die here because there's a giant red barrier stopping me from going that way. She keeps explaining to me, you can't go that way. It's like, well, the fight's right here. I'm gonna bump into it. Get over it. Get over it, fidget you. I don't know. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna say anything mean to you. I'm not gonna finish the sentence. No, not one of these. Oh, all of my cashews. Why do you guys have to exist? These guys are mean. Must embrace the magic spam, because fuck that guy. <laughs> hey, guy. Do you have my, do you have food in here for me by any chance? Because I kind of ran out of the last chest food. Ooh, pretzels. All right. Ooh, pretzels are worth way more than than uh, cashews. I'm gonna have to. That's what I should do with the next store is buy food. Should have done that already. So obviously, I need it. You must be getting close. How can you tell? Look, we may still be able to save the others. Let's hurry. Howdy, y'all. Die. Die. So we're just gonna work from left to right on this side. Hey guys, how you doing? There's one over here. Oh, he's dead too. Everyone's dead. Oh, there's a dead guy right there. That's sad. Oh, hey guys. I'm sorry, but I own this guy, so you're gonna have to get out of it. It's a rental. I can't let people in. There we go. Sweet. I like the part where they all stopped breathing. Oh, this guy's back. Ooh. 
Uh, the cliff. The words can barely be made out, but it seems to say, Travel far to the north, away from this place. I'm in the highest peaks of the Blackmore Mountains, await the soul carrying a red crystal. Just a lot of hints at collectibles. I don't really pay attention to collectible type information this early in the game, just because... Uh, I'm still I'm still exploring for the first time, let alone going back to re-explore stuff for collectibles. I am here to say. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Alright, so 20 health. Wow, this this menu has some serious problems with movement. It's so hilariously sensitive that you can't navigate it. So 40, 80. This is gonna get No, go over. Why well, can't all right, fine. Oh no! <laughs> All right, poison antidote. Uh, oh, I can't navigate. Okay, cupcakes are two forty. Chickens three hundred. Wow, food's kind of expensive. Maybe I want to sell some materials. Oh, I have all the wait. I have all this food in my inventory. I just need to equip it. That's my mistake. Well, I'll do that for now then. Let's sell them one copy of anything I haven't sold them yet. To get the early farming done. Do, 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 do. It's weird how bad the uh, interface seems to deal with you moving around it. Like that's the type of navigational problems you would expect from a PC game where you're like using a gamepad and like forcing it to work, but it doesn't quite know how to use a gamepad. Your transaction is most appreciated. The difference is this is very clearly a console game because I'm playing it on a PS4, so. Do they not? Oh, hello. Key. I almost wonder if they didn't test it properly, but I don't know how that happens. Because I, I assume some testing happened, and I don't. I can't imagine how you would play. I don't imagine how you go through using the like you test it without using the, the menu at all. Can I make that money come up here? If I go over here, money. Follow me over here, and now follow me back up. Uh oh. Well, I was trying to get the money reward for killing that guy. Hey guys. How do you feel about death? Whoopsie! <laughs> Explodey for you. You guys really shouldn't hang out around that stuff. You guys need to learn. You presumably live around here and you know about that thing, right? Maybe maybe they've just never fallen before? Ever in the history of being a fruit? <laughs> hey, jellyfish man. Oh look, another one of those guys. Oops, he walked into the Explodey fruit. It is somewhat humorous how the Explodey fruit has no effect on me. But the moment it even slightly has an impact on any character, it's like, I'm gone now. This is my death. It's, it looks so much like Rayman fruit, too, because of the way... It, it looks like the way Rayman flies, where his hair turns into, like, a propeller. Because Rayman is a hilarious cartoon character sort of design, instead of anything vaguely resembling something that could be a, a creature. Which is great. Uh, and yeah, that, those, those plants do the same thing, where they magically do, like, a weird propeller thing with their leaves. Ooh, explodey. Whoopsie. Oh, cool. Recipes. I like recipes. I also like leveling up. Strength salve. Potent concoction uh, of powerful elements. Plus 30 attack and 1.1 and fidget. Wow. View? It requires a giant, one giant core and that's basically it? God damn. That's, com that's more powerful than the imp oil, for sure. But anyway, I leveled up. Stats. There we go. Next point is 53 fidget. I can make fidget so powerful. You don't even know. Boom! No one man should have all this. Oh, it's doing 11 now. So in this episode, we went from 3 damage to 11 damage per hit. Meaning, I'm outclassing the trash mobs now. Let's go find a real challenge. There's gotta be a boss fight eventually. I'm getting near the flag. On the map, you can see a little flag saying that that's my goal for a quest. This was done recently. We don't have time to wait for it to die out. There's got to be another way around. I can't just do that. That doesn't, that doesn't work. Alright, there's a horrible fire. Oh wait, I can just go up here. No big deal. That appears to be the direction towards my goal anyway. Oh, okay. Explodey fruit. I got a job for you. Oh, it's not on the screen. Where's explodey fruit on... Can I bring it over from the other screen? Is that a thing? So I don't see any explodey fruit around here. Um... Let's see. 
Explodey fruit. Can I lure you over here off camera? Come with me. Oh, bad guys, I guess. Death to you. Death to you. Death to you. Look at them piggy noises. All right, Explodey fruit, I want you to come with me off camera, if you don't mind. Oh, cool, it works. Did not expect that to work, really, but it seemed like the only solution. Oopsie. Not quite seeing which part of the painting is the two-dimensional plane I stand on, I guess. Bye, wall. What you got? Fire and dust. We've lost ten gods to this monster already. He keeps bombarding us with those green flames. They almost seem to have a mind of their own. But then, a sudden gust of wind blasts through the village and the flames disappeared. I stopped the creature's attack. For but a moment. Enough for me to escape. If only we could harness the power of a storm. Hey! Did someone call? Oh god. Try that again. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is, this is very destructible. Wall chicken, I love you. I can hear the water rushing below. Oh. That fixes that problem. I just wanted the key. Dust, the accidental hero. Oh, they can't go up there? Is that the end of everything up? Oh, that's all that's up here. Okay. Dropping down then. Hey, guys. Just gonna end you real quick if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. I've become very dangerous all of a sudden. Let's, let's see where the story's gonna take me now. Oh, God. Hello. <laughs> oh, no. It's a tree, and it's in the water. It's its natural habitat. He'll never stop growing more strong. How would I defeat such an impossible task? I think he's about to die, actually. Oopsie. There we go. Oh, he's not dead yet. I'll fix that. There we go. Every now and then you hear a loud clacking noise. Well, there's two things. There's a... There's a popping noise you'll hear sometimes, which is my chair making a popping noise when I shift my weight sometimes, because it's an old computer chair. And every now and then you hear this. Which is me. Well, that gave it away. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the triggers on the PS... On the PS4 controller have such a weird curve to them that if I overstretch the thing, it's it's not like a normal trigger where you just like slip off and it goes back. Like, it makes a loud clacking noise because I like I like flick the the angle of the weird curvature of the of the button. I've just noticed it when I'm editing videos. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, you can really hear that sometimes. Down with you. Oh, who's got a tree? You think the trees are your ally? Oopsie. Wow, really got really walked into that one. Get it? Cause he stomped on me with his foot. Ah. Uh, let's re-equip something to eat with. Hello, apples will burn through you and your low your low value of, of a calorie count. Oh, there was no there was no one to attack. I just attacked nothing. Hey guys! Oh another you got another giant, huh? Can't help but notice there's like four types of giant, but they're all basically the same giant. Oh! That was a good aim on accident. Oh no! I really blew that up. Alright. Oh no, I was level 5 last time? Alright, we'll pause here and we'll jump cut ahead because I screwed up. And I'll see you guys when I get back to where I was. Uh, we're, we're back to roughly where I start where we were last time. Oopsie. I got back here earlier actually, and I died during this fight again. So uh, what I did is I I went back and I just uh, instead of putting that point into magic, I put a point into health. So I, instead of 100, having 180 health, I have 300. Fidget, is something wrong? <laughs> She's been silenced, Dust. While in this state, she will be unable to cast her projectiles. Fortunately. The effect is only temporary, and will fade over time. You mean, Fidget can't talk now? At all? That's... terrible. Really awful. Not sure how I'll get by. <laughs> so apparently the, uh... Oh right, I immediately tried to press the button to cast. Uh, so apparently the jellyfish has silence of powers? Or something? But yeah, I came back here again. Oh wow, he just killed his friend. 
And uh, these guys stomped me again. And I became abundantly aware of the fact that, oh wow, I fell all the way down here. If they hit me like once, I just immediately die. Ow, shit. How long is she going to science for again? God damn, I'm swarmed in dudes. Whoa. Apples suck. <laughs> hey, little Ludonets, which I was calling macadamias or what, cashews or whatever. I don't. I was calling them cashews. Oh, that doesn't even make sense. Oh, she's back. You're fucked. <laughs> wow, her being silenced is really a bummer. You realize how you realize how overwhelmed you get by the sheer number of ranged enemies. Oh, that's what that does. I just it just happened again. So the lightning silences people. Good to know. But yeah, I got I fought these uh, giants again, and they stomped me quite literally, and I died instantly from full health. And so I'm like, I'm, okay, clearly I do need to get uh, more hit points. So that so now my magic's weaker again. So I put I spent my level up on that instead when it when it happened again. That is a big. It's a big deal to be dying almost instantly. <laughs> Oopsie. Oop. The air combat's fun in this. Oh! Combo! <laughs> He's like not even paying attention to me. He's like, where are you going, buddy? There we go. Man, the, the combat gets a really satisfying build-up sound, because the, the hit, the impact, the sound that, the, the sort of musical note that plays every time you hit somebody keeps getting higher and higher pitched to ramp up the uh, significance of, of your your growing combo. There we go. Let's explode some magic all over him. Ooh, shit, that's exactly what was happening before. That kind of little surprise can absolutely ruin you. I would have had to just restart the last few minutes of gameplay if that happened without me increasing my hit points. So that's why I went ahead and increased my hit points, because, like, that's a... Uh, that was starting to be a bummer, dying that abruptly. But man, your need to constantly refill your health definitely starts to take a toll on this difficulty. Looks like we're coming up on something final, though. The map's got a flag on it. So what do we got? Save points! Save points are great, no more lost progress. I need food. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. How are you everywhere? I'm starting to get concerned. Alright, so... Sell mode, anything new to sell real quick? Usual check. Your transit. Should actually check real quick to see what I can craft. Pendant. Uh, it requires. Oopsie. It requires two beast spears. Oh, and a blacksmith has to craft it. I don't suppose you do any blacksmithing, dude. Oops. Uh, and this also needs two. Be so I need four beast spears overall for the crafting of what I want. This one's also better. Two Florn Sparks. So I need two Florn Sparks and four Beast Spears. That's food. <laughs> That's my stash. This is where the Revive uh, Crystal would have been then. Alright. Florn Sparks and other things. And Beast Spears. Four Beast Spears, what a coincidence. Dink, 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 dink. Alright. I got my Beast Spears. Florn Sparks. I need two of these. Now I can craft those things, but I don't think you can make those for me. Let's buy food. Like, so much food. Like some pretzels and stuff, maybe? Food's expensive in this game. What if I buy the mysterious wall chicken? Like five? That'll help me out for a little while at least. So can I craft these things? I can't, right? Yeah, I need to find an actual blacksmith, but when I do, who losey? That wasn't a word. Oh well. Uh, I really don't like the look of this. We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one. What is it, Ara? Such hatred. Be careful, Dust. Such hatred. So we have a boss fight coming up would be my 
not very, not very creative guess. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of bodies. That's a lot. Of, oh, that's the same dead guy from before. He teleported. That's weird. So, you've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people. You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name. Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. Are we oh, we're fighting. Oh, he's got the fire magic. You forgot to tell me your name. How am I gonna remember your name if you don't tell it to me? What your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And it's like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious. Now die! Alright, there's his name. He remembered to tell me. Good boy. Oh god. Oh! That's a lot of fire. Where is he? I don't know. Shoot magic at him. What's he doing? Spore! Sport! Oh god. That hurt. Oh Jesus. Oh, I, my mistake is I need, I need to be doing the dodge, obviously. Also, let's equip health. God damn. Where is he? Is he up? Oh, hello. Oh, uh, that pillar is the dangerous, most dangerous thing he does. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, the screen's covered in damage. I need to go fight him. Is he up here now? I need to go melee fight him or something because this is not working for me. Where is he? I haven't seen him in like the last minute of the fight. Oh. Oh shit. All right, he's mean. He's a big meanie. Somehow I don't remember this fight at all. I need to engage in combat with him so he stops spamming crazy stuff. Come on. He's got a lot of hit points, doesn't he? Where'd he go? There he is. Gotta get, get, gotta get all over him. Oh god, so he doesn't do that all day. Ow, Jesus, he comboed me with that shit. Where are you going? There he is. He's a, a surprising number of attacks I do on him don't make an impact. Uh, uh. There we go. I did my combo on him. Uh, I'm running out of helling items again. Where is he? There he is. Die. I really appreciate if you took more hits from me. There we go. He's he's like weirdly immune to attacks a lot of the time. I'm out of chicken already. God damn. All I ha one health and twenty health. I have no healing items already. Oh shit. Thank God for save point. I guess because I'm guess I'm gonna need it. Just focus on melee. The magic doesn't really work for me. There we go. There we go. This clearly is the effective strategy. Because it actually interrupts him, and I can kind of do this for a while. Oh! Come back here! Don't, don't run away from me! No! Ow, shit! Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to jump. I meant to do the magic like this. No! Leg race! Must not let you... Ow, oh, Jesus. Oh, I walked into the middle of that, didn't I? Oh, Jesus. He can really just do that whenever he feels like it, can he? Combo. There we go. I'm not going to be saying a lot in this fight. i got to concentrate. Because he can very abruptly do dangerous stuff all over the screen. Whoa. Whoa, sound mixing got fucked up again. 
It was like last episode where sometimes the like rain or something would be weirdly loud. <laughs> he just said one line that was like screaming at me <laughs> in my ears. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did dodge that as it turns out. I'm sure you didn't want me to actually do that, but you know, your uh, Matrix reference is not going to defeat me. Oh. Oh, shit. The good news is that the more I, uh... Oh, shit. It's rough that he can, uh, just t attack me when he's getting up. You have to be really careful about that. Yep, there it goes again. Shit. Oh! You- I was standing up, asshole. Alright. It'd be interesting to see someone do this fight without getting hit at all, because he can definitely just interrupt anything by attacking you sometimes. Which I'm a little iffy on. In the air with you! Yay! Oh, shit. Interrupt them attacks. Come back here, buddy. I'm trying to ruin your life and end you. It's no big deal. We should get along great after you're dead. God damn. Dude. Some anger management. Oh! Bam! Leg raise. You dead yet? Oh! Dodge out. Oh, I double healed on accident. I meant to do I meant to heal then dodge, and I just healed and healed. <laughs> there we go. The lights of Elysium shine upon me. But can they reach the darkness within you? I have come to my end. What are you? Among the last of a dying breed. A once proud race extinguished by your hands. My hands? <clears throat> you and your warm-blooded kin. We moonbots were outcast. Scattered to the wind. You and others like you. They came to my village. Killed my family. I, I didn't... I can't remember. There is sadness in your eyes, but it is not guilt. It is loss. After all you've done to my kind, you still think only of yourself. Perhaps that is for the best. Your leader, Gaius, he led you and your fellow assassins into battle. Assassins? He even murdered his own kind. Our greatest allies amongst the warm bloods. But one escaped. She was the only one I would dare spare in the slaughter that was to come. She? Who are you talking about? Who did I kill? Uh, who knows? Who sees? My vision has left me. I return now to the life thread and to my brethren. No, no, wait! Farewell, warm blood. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. We did it! He knew I was Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Gaius. Dust, during the battle, I was studying Fuse's attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. 
hit R1 to cycle through the fidget powers. Boom! The scariest of powers. I love that one. That was the one I was hoping for. Monsters. What's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? There's just no place in some people. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. Fuse's fertility is astonishing. Well, murder. Yay. Cover the screen in pillars of doom, pillars of doom, pillars of doom. Now I'm being- now it sounds extra, uh, problematic. Sarai- uh, Sarahi's letter. My dearest Mosca, something terrible is happening here. The village is on fire, everyone is screaming. If you ever find this letter, I will be hiding in our secret place, please. Please hurry. So this game's extra dark now with all the remarks I make because, yeah, it, like I think I pointed out before, it's actually a game about, you know, genocide and war, even despite all of its pretty colors. Uh, and yeah, we seem to have been a part of some sort of elite group of uh, murderous assassin types, but we don't remember who we are. And now the question is, do we want to know who we were? Dun dun dun. Have I been here already? It's hard to tell because it's all it's all smoke it's all sloping landscapes and stuff. But I don't think I've been here yet. If I kept going right, that might have been my way out of this. Yeah, there's an arrow leaving leading out of the zone, so I guess that's how you leave. Death diffuses children. Yay! You guys, done being alive yet? Sweet. Yeah, nice pacing for a boss fight right off the bat. What's over here? I can't quite tell yet if this is the same place I was already in, or if it's a place that's new. Yeah, this is a fun ability to use. Boom! There was no one need to even hit that time, I just did it because. Is that the same... Is that one new? I think I'm just backtracking to rooms I've been through before. My bad. <laughs> When I saw the opportunity to go up like that onto another spot, I thought I was progressing into a new room. But I realize now... Bye, guys. If I can leave. They might, they might lock me in. Oh, uh, there we go. I was totally making the mistake of, uh, backtracking through the same rooms again. I got thrown off by the, the boss fight and everything. I thought we were gonna go somewhere else. Ooh, blueprint. Thank you. Ow, rude. What's down here? Hello, cave. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory is coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? <laughs> Um, I certainly hope you're safe. LOL, fourth wall break. So yeah, you go down there, and you go into a crazy time trial. I think it's a time trial in this case. Uh, there's a lot of uh, mission ch there's, a, there's a lot of little special bonus mission challenges that are actually kind of have the vibe of the Bastion ones. Meanwhile, far to the north. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? That was weird. So the the general, or the, the leader or whatever guy, Gaius, he was 2D. The guard he was talking to was 3D. <laughs> He's a cel-shaded 3D character model. Hey, 73% of notes, 55% of treasure. 
So I've, I, I'm getting most of the stuff in each zone I explore. I think this I think this is new because uh, some of the quests that I got tell me to go to the Glade. But let's go back to Aurora Village so that we can discuss with uh, the governor what we've accomplished here. Did I get what you needed? Let's see, one of you wanted five imp hides. Do I have imp hides? Imp claw, beast leather. Imp hides. I'll just talk to him. That's easier. Please let me know if you come across those materials. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. Interesting. I got I got pieces of imp, but not imp hides. Maybe the imp. If I read the imp quest, maybe it'll tell me to go back to the uh, glades to kill that type of imp or something. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard, wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik Village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck! Alright, first little story arc wrapped up. Almost hit level 7. First boss fight done, and we're well past the little hour mark, so thanks for watching, guys, like always. I believe this is a pretty natural stopping point for an episode. Let's make sure we do a manual save. Let's compare- we can compare our stats between the two episodes. Uh, difference is 6% complete, 17% complete. Level 3, level 6. That's a relatively straightforward amount of progress. Alright guys, so to reiterate, this is a sponsored video. Thank you Jesse Miller for your contribution for the second month in a row. If you want to be able to sponsor a one hour video of ga uh, for a game of your choice, you can go to patreon.com slash SebastianSB for more information. Link in the description. Thanks for watching guys like always, and I will see you next time.